hi everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for supporting my channel and liking my videos subscribing and also commenting under some of them i read the comments all the time and especially the ones for the audio and i'm going to increase the overall audio on this one as well because my voice is on the lower register so you can have a better uh, user experience while listening with your headphones in today's video i'm going to walk you through the behind the scenes of how i design a website one page website on wix so get your favorite drink and let's start today's video is a little bit different than usual because i will explain some of my design decisions and my process for this specific project with the permission of course with my client because he gave me the permission to record everything and it was really a fun experience to be honest to track also of time how much i spent for a one page website and uh, I'm quite excited to be honest because it's a different uh, format and um, I will just play right now a time lapse of uh, my work in real time that I did, sped up, blurred on certain uh, parts where we have like a private uh, communication via email or certain prompts that I have um, altered in certain GPTs, ChatGPT or Perplexity AI um, for the purpose of creating a better copy. Also before I forget make sure to stay until the end of the video because I will show you the final version that you got a sneak peek in the beginning with the desktop version and also the mobile version. So make sure to stay until the end or check the chapters in the description below. And if you like this video make sure to leave a like subscribe for the new ones and turn on the bell because i don't have a schedule for the videos um let's let's start if i haven't forgotten i usually do a screen capture with a video or like a photo of each page of my client so i can have like a clear vision of what was before and then what happened in the after this is what i did with that walkthrough and then i start checking out the layers the hierarchy and the information after architecture of the website for this specific one i also created a um, copy of the page for example as you can see i also will go in the into the settings of the website and create a um, specific renamed version in the site history so we can know when the redesign have started and uh, after making this couple tweaks i then uh, make sure that i have also went through our communication read all the prompts from my clients specific words and sentences that stand out to me uh, in our communication and start working on our color scheme and uh, typography which i implement uh, as you can see here in wix so it can speak and evoke the branding that my client is trying to represent this is a step I do with every client that doesn't have a color palette, doesn't know what type typography to use, doesn't have any settled f foundations of uh, branding. And this is the bare minimum that I can do for my clients by helping them out with the direction of their branding. Here I'm checking out also some of the sections already provided by Wix. As you can see, I also in the previous clip, I also tried to generate one with AI, which didn't suit my style so i started to tweak with what we already had and i really like the combination of the gradient colors and the building behind because my client said he likes that specific image and i i kept it for this purpose and started to implement different um, images of himself and trying to tweak them a bit so i can make them work with the contrast ratio and also other elements on the page i specifically really like this one but in the end we changed it and you'll see in the final version with another one that was also used across channels which i really support because it's also uh, part of the consistency that i already did talk about so much but also sometimes it's not necessarily needed to have the same image all over your um, online presence it is okay to have different images on your website and now i also did in the previous clip a little bit of research on what fonts are especially uh, common in sales and i didn't like any of the suggestions so i started to tweak with them uh, within weeks what they offer and I think I chose um, Avenir for the heading font and for the paragraphs where you can see that my clients already leaned into a little bit of a scripting font, I chose uh, Joseph. 
or Josephine, I think it was. Working on uh, other parts of the uh, hero section, I think this one got the most of my time because I was trying to nail that first impression on the website when you land in. I tweaked the shadows, the frame, a little bit of the contrast as you see, as you saw, also re removed and moved certain elements, tried to align them. And then of course uh, came time for the text, the one that will answer the question who is this and what are they doing so i tried to uh, get it straightforward because this was one of the words my clients liked when i uh, asked him what do you want uh, your messaging to sound like when someone lands on your uh, website and i decided also to pick some of the other words that we have used in our conversation and make sure to arrange them perfectly in a cohesive um paragraph with what my clients does here i'm using perplexity ai and tweaking some of our conversations to make it sound right and also using google translate just in case i have another idea for uh, another word from other two languages that i'm already speaking to just implement them um and also for the grammarly because sometimes grammarly doesn't work in the wix editor and i prefer to tweak the text in google translate and then I added also the call to action button. I played a little bit with the transparency and the contrast. I wasn't very sure if uh, this dark blue will work on the image, but I believe it worked out great in the end. That's why I was playing so much with the background image and its uh, contrast and overlay and layering and whatnot. The next section was the one that I was probably uh, tweaking the most and that one I took from uh, the templates from Wix and I started to work on the experience and how to present it with words or visuals. In this case I decided to use some of the wording that we already had in our conversation once again and also create it as an image but then I decided to remove the images with that I created for the text because I would need the text for the SEO and also I was playing a lot with rearrangement of the uh, certificates and I didn't like them. I decided that I'm going to use one of the other layout options that were horizontally that you will see in a minute and as you can see here I'm trying to figure out a way how to make this all work and um, tried with the background it didn't seem right the whole composition didn't seem cohesive or breathable so i was like okay let me just make it simple and actually straightforward again to be very clear and uh, with with the help of my client uh, we desi decided also to switch up some of the certificates because i did i was not sure if it has to be like chronologically or logically orientated and after this section it came down to the section with the impact which i really really liked and in this section i wanted to uh, provide little a bit more information about my client's success and track record per se and i decided to go with this uh, in large numbers uh, with the text next to it um, making sure that the impact is quite visible and um, after that i went to the booking uh, section where i implemented a widget from uh, wix which if you didn't know you can connect your zoom to the booking calendar and you can create a paywalled uh, consultations and it's quite easy to set up here i'm choosing the the dummy text like the pricing and i'm also using like real copy that i suggest for my client but as you can see um i'm trying to make it as real as possible and sometimes i use uh, the um, ai from uh, wix sometimes i come up with the titles uh, on my own and as you can see i switch up the layout because i all again went back to the email that we had with my client and some of the competitors had a different layouts and suggestions that he already liked so i decided to go with this one with the image and a little bit of info before booking a call and then here i'm generating the text as usual and making some headlines so it can uh, be all ready for publishing as fast as possible the tweaking took a little bit of time because every single uh, thing has to be aligned with the all other designs here i'm also working on the 
other pages related to the booking functionality. Then I went over each section and renamed them properly because that will help me later on with uh, creating the anchors. And here I'm implementing the footer which was a really uh, simple and straightforward once again with the um, actual contact form which I also make sure to include the anti-spam field and also some of the social media icons. After talking with my client, we decided to change the image uh, on in the hero section, as you can see. Here I'm tweaking a little bit uh, like smaller things. The testimonials I decided to keep as they were because they were fitting the color scheme and the text was already implemented and we didn't have like that much in options for the design. I just adjusted the, um, the layout and a little bit of the spacing in between and chose a specific order of the testimonials then again you can see here I'm working on the copy uh, for the section where my client actually is talking about the specific certificate for a sales uh, consultants that they can get and in this section where we talk about the certification of NASP and how you can get it I decided to go with this uh, section where we have the image on the left and the copy on the right and here I'm working on the copy on answering the question why you should get the certification. It's interesting that I left that image there intentionally with the stock uh, image uh, because I knew that it's going to be replaced with another video uh, from a client. I also included some social links there. As you can see the work is not very linear. Sometimes I go back to the other sections like the one in the in the footer and I'm adjusting certain things because I got an idea or decided to make it more cohesive with previous uh, sections for example with the um, social media handles I changed my mind and decided to use another uh, shape and contrast for that section also there was an arrow there that I also removed I don't know how it ended up there but it was uh, good that I noticed it on time then a lot of uh, rearrangement and uh, renaming of the certain sections here I'm also making them as um, anchor to its uh, respective uh, sections so the menu can work uh, as uh, wanted like when you press on experience to get you down to the experience sections when you want to go to the sales training to go to the booking section and so on and so on after the desktop version was ready since Wix is uh, cascading the design down to mobile I decided to uh, go and adjust the alignment the white space and also to make sure that everything is visible of course uh, i wanted to go with the dark white dark white and dark white uh, order uh, of the sections in mobile as well as it is in, on desktop but one of the sections was hidden uh, at certain point and uh, rearranged in in a other different order so after the revision of my client we spotted that and I just switched the order and everything looked uh, cohesively in the final version which you will see here I'm implementing the SEO behind and also working on some of the keywords filling in the meta descriptions for the page and a useful feature from Wix now when you go to the SEO setup checklist is that you can bul in bulk write down all of the alt text for your images which is I would say mandatory because it helps the search engine understand what your website is about and it's really useful once you have all the images implemented to just work on the SEO as a last step and uh, then I'm just tweaking uh, different uh, fonts, different things, checking uh, other pages. Here I'm setting up the um, that page that I saved as an about backup page that my client had as its original version of the website. I changed the font and made sure that everything from the content that they had on their website is there so later on might be reused or reused for something else and I adjust other things so it, it all works uh, perfectly. Also other pages that are not visible, I hide them from the search engines and also here I'm implementing the fav icon that you can see uh, in the browser window. I will show you 
to you later then adding back to top arrow that's basically it that was the website i hope this was not too fast <laughs> and uh, i hope it was understandable for me it was very easy to work on this website because me and my client had worked before and we managed to already have like a established communication and a couple of meetings and we already knew what the tempo was and it was quite easy to get on to the website and start working on it and i already knew him as a person so it was easy for me to create all the copy and um, the layout just made sense as you can see we also changed the name name uh, so it can be more professional and uh, let me show you the live version of the website now so this is the website let me refresh so you can see the animations that are happening only for the first time when the user comes this is intentional so it doesn't take up too much time uh, when the website loads these are the interactions on hover these are the animations when you scroll down to the actual sections the impact with numbers here you can book a call this light blue i might change because i think it would have like a poor contrast i will check which other blue we can use here these are some things that as it, when i say your website is always changing this is what i mean some decisions might have been either um accidental or maybe just in a moment or maybe my client changed the color i'm not sure but as, as I can see it now, I think it should be changed to something else. Here are the testimonials. And this is the implemented video that I was talking about. I also implemented the links for the socials. And the contact uh, form It's here with my small contribution here where you can go to my website. Let's check it out in uh, mobile now, how it looks like. let's choose pro and let's refresh it again so this is how it looks in mobile this is the hamburger menu this is the order of the sections that we went for the button is different color intentional here because of the other blue sections so it doesn't blend in too much the booking section the testimonials the video and the working hours the contact form and the small contribution that's it i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and let me know if you like this style of videos should i do the time lapse or faster slower just let me know uh, in the comments below if you have any suggestions for other videos feel free to leave them in the comments again thank you so much for supporting my channel and to not miss out any future videos make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell and yeah see you in the next one bye